Okay, today we're going to be talking about pit bulls. I've seen a lot of posts on how good they are and also how vicious they are. I stand on the side that pit bulls are loyal and faithful animals, as well as being very protective. There are about 75 million dogs in the United States. About a thousand people a day are brought in for treatment of dog bites. Most of these are children. The severe cases almost exclusively are children 10 years or less. Anytime a child under 4 is attacked, 47% of the time it was the family dog. 90% of the time it occurred in the family home. In October of 2000, a 6 week old baby was mauled to death by the family Pomeranian when the uncle laid her on the bed to go make a bottle. The training and the socialization of the dog, as well as the behavior of the victims, are all determining factors in an attack or fatality. An irresponsible handler or owner can put a normally calm dog in a situation where he becomes volatile. Um, any dog can be turned into a dangerous dog, and the person at fault most of the time is the handler themselves. One, because they don't know how to handle their dog. Or two, they put him in the situation where he's not comfortable. For a dog, there's many types of aggression. You have your dominance aggression, defensive fear aggression, protective or territorial aggression, predatory aggression, pain elicited aggression, punishment elicited aggression, and redirected aggression. They're all pretty self-explanatory to me. If you want more of a definition, I'll give you the links to the websites, two of the best websites that I used for this. They're going to be below, so feel free to check them out for yourselves. The Supreme Court reviewed the breed ban laws in 2006. They determined that pit bulls are not more dangerous than other breeds, and stated that since 1996, there are no current statistics that support the notion that pit bulls continue to be involved in a disproportionate number of fatalities or attacks. There are three recognized breeds of pits. There's the American Pit Bull Terrier, the American Staffordshire Terrier, and the Staffordshire Bull Terrier. The first two both started out as terrier bulldog mixes because they wanted the strength, tenacity, and agility from both dogs because they wanted a good hunting dog. They used these dogs as catch dogs. The third, the Bull Terrier, he was actually started out as a Mastiff Bulldog mix. He was used for bull baiting and bear baiting. Later on, he was bred down with the Manchester Terrier to decrease his size. Today, pit bulls are used as police dogs, rescue dogs, and companion dogs for the disabled. In World War I, there was an American Staffordshire Terrier by the name of Sergeant Stubby. He was the mascot for the 102nd Infantry Division, also known as the 26th Yankee Division. He received a Purple Heart and a World War I Victory Medal for subduing a German soldier in U.S. trenches. Since 1975, over 30 different breeds have been linked to fatalities. They include Huskies, Malamutes, Great Danes, Doberman Pinschers, German Shepherds, Rottweilers, and of course Pit Bulls. And of course that Pomeranian. Okay, so it's everything I've gone over. Pit Bulls are not first time dog owner dogs. You need to know how to socialize and how to train your dog as well as how to show him who's boss without abusing him. Um, get with your local veterinarian or your local animal shelter if you have a aggressive dog and they will be more than likely happy to give you a name and number of somebody who can help you train your animal and better understand your animal so you're not having to call the dog whisperer. Well. Hopefully you enjoyed it. That's this edition of Zomagata Say Oregon. 
And hopefully you walked away just a few points smarter. Good luck and have fun.